my dear students one more problem of same type let us see here now uh, this is also the problem which is as previous problem which I have discussed just now uh, here the body has been dropped from a inclined plane and it is coming downwards okay so he's asking us to find out uh, what is the ratio of their velocities that is the question here he's asking us to find out the ratios of the velocities so for that uh, in the textbook in textbooks are any previous year books he has given a very very lengthy method but we can bypass all these lengthy method and do the problem in a super simple way so let us discuss what is going to happen now so here if you consider conservation of energy there is total energy at a is going to become total energy at b here okay so anyhow you know at this place as there is height h total energy at a is going to be mg h and at this place it is nothing but half m v square 1 plus k square by r square okay so this is going to be our formula what are the constants here the uh, height is also going to be same so total part is getting cancelled here half is cancelled and mass is cancelled okay so in this case height is same but in the previous case which i have given in the problem number i mean uh, video number 163 i think uh, what was there here at that time only Velocity was constant here height is constant here. No, he's asking us to find out the ratio of their velocities So from this it is understood that Velocity square is inversely proportional to 1 plus k square by r square That means you can remove the velocity and write the velocity here, okay, and he's asking us to find out the ratios of velocities of solid cylinder to that of a solid sphere, okay, so from this first I think cylinder then I think it's a sphere. So now you can just see. First is cylinder and then it is a sphere here now. So we can write now. So numerator represents a sphere because it is inverse relation. So for sphere, you all know that for sphere it is 2 by 5. So we can write this as 1 plus 2 by 5 divided by square root of 1 plus cylinder it is 1 by 2. You know about this. So from this it is understood that you will be getting now square root of this is a 7 by 5 whole divided by 3 by 2. So therefore it is going to be 14 by 15 under root of 14 by 15. You can just do the problem in just two or three steps not more than that and avoid all these waste of time. Hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.